Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10 series of my generic brand Galaxy Alien Planet start. And you can see we are inside our modified camo shack. Um, you, you know what, in fact, we should probably rename this now. It's not just the Camel Shack, it is like the Camel Shack Evolved. See, the, the, instead of the DSE, the, the CSE Camo Shack Evolved, the CSE, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> the CSE, oh my god. The CSE, CSE, there we go. Okay, and what I want to do is, I've got some pentaxid in there, 64. I can actually, you can fit a lot in the pentaxid tanks now by the look of it. I can fit like close to 200. Um, okay, so we came back to this particular CV out there, destroyed vessel, and salvaged... Uh, as much as we could of the hardened steel, the the sathium injected steel out of it. So we ended up with a bunch of, of hardened steel plates. And I want to upgrade this a little bit. So let's go do that. <clears throat> we'll just jump out here. And so I want to kind of upgrade the nose section we've got uh, and I will be upgrading the the windows too eventually but I think I want to get some of the uh, blocks upgraded first so first of all let's connect to are we connected to it yes we are connected to it with the hardened steel plates inside so we should be able to just select our multi-tool go to the upgrade section and upgrade there we go now i just want to single tap these ones i don't want to make them combat steel i just want to make them hard and steel this is not going to be a combat vehicle at all i just wanted to be able to defend itself from drones basically so I'll probably take a shot to the face every once in a while. So if I protect the nose cone, that'll probably be sufficient. For now, anyway. Okay, that's pretty much the nose cone there. go uh you know what maybe around the turret too i have a feeling the turret will get shot at so let's upgrade these i know the thrusters get shot at I just don't have enough uh, hardened steel. We're going to run out any second here. Okay. So we'll just do that for now. And we don't want to weigh us down too much anyway. What do we have left? Yeah, we used up over half. So let's uh, head back up. So I think we're ready to go to a different galaxy or to a different uh, sector. So let's check this out. We'll zoom out here, go to the map. And so we have three choices. We can go to the Martek asteroid field, which has silicon, neodymium, and sathium. I uh, have no idea what's there. If it's like friendly or not, really. <clears throat> um, difficulty cube, that doesn't really mean anything. So orbit for Fallen is Cobalt Neil Pent. 
tent in orbit, that would be a big chunk of it. That might be worth going to. And it's a little closer to the sun if we find a good, if the orbit is cool, maybe we can make a base there. Um, and the planet, I believe, had Neo and Saf. And potential water too, so uh, breathable. Oh, that's weird. It's an air planet, but it was breathable. Oh yeah, that can happen sometimes. I guess it's content, O2 content is just barely breathable. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, so, let's do Fallen. Yeah, because I don't think Denima is just another... It's another alien planet. Arrestrium. It doesn't have Sathium and Neo. And I don't think it had it in orbit either. Oh, it had Sathium in orbit. Eh. Yeah. Let's go to Fulnon. It has the both. It has both. So, there we go. We've got that set in. Let's uh, turn our thrusters on. And uh, there's Fulnon down there. So we just got to head towards our target. And then once we get up to speed, which is probably about now, we can hit K. And our first warp. Woohoo! The Camel Shack evolved. Warps. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay. Uh, good. We're not under attack right away. That's a good sign. <laughs> Okay, okay, so I guess, I don't think there's anything we want on the moon, to tell you the truth. I think it's all in orbit and on planet. So maybe we should go land on the planet and throw down the, the water generators, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, it's an air planet with, with atmosphere. You know what? Actually, now that we're in this sector, we should be able to see other jump points now. Oh, yeah. See, there we go. Um, the Mac is a restroom Pentaxid in orbit with a restroom Zascosium. Oh, nice. Okay. And these are the other starting planets. I'm not going to bother going to those. Okay, well, I think we hang out here. I think we go down to Fulman. So, maybe what I'll do first is let's head, let's get fairly close here. I want to get about 4K out. Let's, uh, let's level off. There we go. I like to get, come in at a planet at the equator, and then get to about 4,000 clicks out from it. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do, oh, that's pretty, look at the purple down there on the purple Mount Majesty, right? <laughs> okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cruising around and I'm going to take my brake off. And so I'm going to get up to speed here. And I usually go in one direction. You can see that we're getting a little closer to the planet. Well, that'll, that'll start getting further away from it. And then I just kind of keep my eyes peeled for any asteroids that pop into view. Those are planets popping into view over there. Those round, the perfectly round things. Yeah. Yeah. And we just keep watching. We just keep looking for, for asteroids to just pop into view. Any asteroids that pop into view are going to be resource asteroids, pretty much guaranteed. I don't think uh, anything else is going to be out in orbit here, other than POIs. Okay, so we're getting a little bit further away from the planet now, so we we can start changing our angle. So I'm thinking if we head this direction, let's 
level off, and then give it some thrust in this direction. Now we should start coming around the planet more. There we go. And actually we're getting further away, so let's thrust towards the planet a little bit there. Still getting further away. We don't want to get too far. We'll come in, start getting a little closer here. Come on. So this is the strategy I use to, it's not very good to do it with a CV, but we're coasting right now. We're not really, you can see, we're not really spending a lot of fuel. So it's more just time involved. But this is pretty much how I find all the freaking asteroids. keep a little closer okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue around the planet probably a couple times hopefully I'll find some Neo and Sath and when I find something I will grab you guys okay we've got something up ahead here let's see what it is Be Neo, be Neo, be Neo, be Neo, be Neo, be Neo. Oh, it's oh, Pentaxid. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Nice. Okay. Well, there's no sense in marking it because I'm just gonna mine this up. I am just gonna mine this up. So let's take a look. I've got my T2 drill, right? So it's kick ass. Right in, oops, and smash right into it. Well, we don't need to do that, but okay. We have a 100 meter range on the Wi Fi, so as long as we stay within 100 meters, we can stay connected to the Wi Fi. So I want to do it into mats, I think. Right? We've got 40, we've got quite a bit more space that we can put into the mats. So let's connect to the mats. Okay, let's do this. Tax it. This is exciting. And, ooh, it's radiated out here, huh? I won't be able to handle much. I might have to s sit inside and use the drone. Ah, eh, that's okay. We've got a, we've got um, a shower. Oh, wow. This is coming in real fast, actually. Yeah, if we start getting too close to getting dosed, we'll go inside and take a shower. So the... The radiation in this sector is... And the orbit is uh, fairly high. I'm not sure if that's just because we're close to the Pentaxid. I don't think so. Let's see if I fly away, it stays. It only went down by 0.2, so the Pentaxid's only increasing it by a smidgen. And even then, no, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it's a 6.8. 6 6.6 .6 to 6.8. Okay, so we'll get dosed here. We just gotta, we could just gotta shower up after. Okay, it's coming in really good. I just want to do this one by hand uh, on camera here, just to show you how fast it can come in and see how much we get from it. It's actually a little bit 
it take it's a little harder to drill than them it's like you you don't just zap it on one zap it's a it's a double zap to get this pentaxid huh Well, some, eh, it seems, it's fast, it's just not, it doesn't seem to be coming in as fast as other stuff. Let's take a look, we're up into the hundreds, that's not bad. It's good, we'll be able to make ammo then, that requires pentaxid, maybe some medical medicine, a bunch of medicine requires pentaxid. Okay. Uh, our dose meter is going up. We've got to keep our eye on that. Oh, I didn't turn my thrusters off. Oh, that's okay. Out in space, it doesn't really... When you're not moving, it doesn't eat up a ton of fuel. This is coming in so good, I don't want to stop. <laughs> now, from what I remember, these small asteroids, it's all one continuous lump that stretches around the whole thing. So I think once we're, once we run out, it's done. But this will probably set us up for a long time. Tax it anyway. Okay. seems to drill bigger chunks out of the asteroid than it does uh, the planet. Or is that just... I'm not sure now. Is that... Is, is, yeah? I think so, doesn't it? I seem to be really digging out this in huge chunks compared to a regular deposit. I'll have to pay more attention next time I'm drilling. Okay, almost there. I know I'm boring you guys to death, but I just want to show you what it's like drilling out in space without a uh, vehicle. Now, I could sit in my vehicle, uh, or stand in it, and use my drone, but this is, this is more fun. <laughs> Does it consume more food and oxygen? Probably. Okay, looks like we're almost eight at all. Huh? Drill an entire. Oh, yeah, we're, we're really getting dosed now. We're almost halfway to a, a full rad. That's okay. We'll have enough time. Wow, there is a lot of pentaxid here. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. There we go. Nice. And then... Man, maybe I should have cut to... Uh... 
cut the video of the drill in. I didn't think it was going to be this massive. It just keeps going on and on and on. It's just huge. Wow. I don't know if I've dug out an entire asteroid by hand before. I, I, I don't know if I have the patience to do... Oh, wait, there's not much left, is there? Oh, yeah, there's still a whole nother... Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not going to subject you guys to... All this drilling, I will continue on. What are we up to? What are we up to? Wow, 700 and something. I think we'll hit the... We should crest a, a full stack. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to drill this up, and I'm going to continue to look for stuff, and I'll come grab you when I find something. Okay, it looks like we have come up to another asteroid here, and it's got some sort of brown... Are we going to get lucky here? Yes, we are. It's Neo. Okay. Um, well, that is awesome. Okay, I'm definitely going to mine this out. The Pataxid, I didn't completely mine out. I did leave some, but, I mean, we've got over a stack of Pataxid. So, I think the Neo, though... The Neo, we are definitely going, you can see I actually mined uh, copper and some cobalt in uh, in Ithquil's orbit, same with same with uh, iron. So we've got good amounts of everything. Silicone's a little light. Uh, we have under a full stack, but that's okay. Um, we're doing pretty good on everything else, so let's grab this Neo. Okay, so I'm going to mine this up, and I will come grab you when I'm done to show you how much we get. Okay, so what did we get off that? We got, uh, oh, decent, decent. We ended up with, so double that, and that's how many ingots. So, uh, you know, 2,800. Nice. Nice. But not enough, actually. The reason it's not enough is 2800 is just kind of midline in the way of like a CV, really, not even midline. Uh, anything performance wise, you're looking at 3K plus for Neo. Sathium, triple that. <laughs> Uh, Sathian's not as hard as you might think, even though that you don't dig, find a lot of deposits of it. It's because you can, you can, oh, what the heck? <laughs> there's a, there's another asteroid right there. Okay, well, let's mark, let's mark this one as, oh. Okay, some, sometimes it doesn't let you. You gotta come, you gotta like exit out of the game, come back in, and then it'll show up on your map. It's a bit of a bug right now. We'll just have to deal with it. Let's check out what this is. <laughs> Actually, it looks like uh, Neo also, doesn't it? Yep, Neo. Wow. Okay, so sweet. Um, okay, well, I'm going to mine that up, too. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Wow, the center of it is 100 meters? Really? Are you kidding me? Or is that... No, it could be. <clears> hmm, <throat> well... I will come grab you when I'm done, and we'll see how much the two asteroids together gave us. 
Okay, so let's check out, see what we got off this one. Uh, we pretty much got it all. Might be a little stub here and there, but whatever. Okay, one, two, three, four, and a half. We'll just say four and a half stacks. So that's about 9,000 Neo when it's smelted down. Excellent. We probably won't need any anymore. Okay, so next, I think, is we go to the planet because we're in search of Sathium also. So, head to one of the poles, I think. Be the safest thing, considering uh, there's probably a, a nasty patrol vessel on this planet. Looks like there's a pole over here. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a good idea. Some purple mountains there, cool. Okay. We should be able to, I'm pretty sure this is the pole. It's, it, it seems, it kind of reminds me of the pole. Let's, let's hope and pray it is. <laughs> It's not then so we even out I hmm, maybe we aren't above the pole oh yes we are we're in the dead middle of the pole okay it looked like the pole <laughs> okay so we can see the planet because we came down from orbit we just can't we just don't know where anything is so let's go south some mountains and water here so power usage 108 gravity is not that bad Oof. can we if we if we level off what's power usage yeah 108 still okay so we we should be able to do it even with 108 I was a little bit worried but we do have four um small generators if we just if we're able to put one large one on here it would like solve all our problems okay so let's come down close to the water here yeah get out of the fog the pole fog. So I see a a drone over there. So there's and oh, there's something right here. That is Xerox territory. Okay, so let's. What is that? I guess we could go take a look. Well, we don't have a lot of fuel to be flying around in the atmosphere. It's not really... Oh, I'm shooting at it, whatever it is. It looks like two POIs. I'm not really sure what it is. You know what? I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to play with him. I don't want to play with him. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. And oh yeah, look at all the drones here. So we might be able to play with these guys. What is there? Four four large drones. I appear to be missing a lot. See, I'm not getting any... Oh. We discovered Neo. So that's what they were guarding. Let's see if I can get close enough to actually damage him. There we go. 
Oh, whoa, what's that over there? Another POI. Not sure if we are actually hitting them or not. <laughs> I think we are. Because we are getting the minus six zero X rep. Yeah, we're hitting it. I can see, I can see our, uh, our bullet impact. Yep. Wow. Okay, this is tedious. <sighs> Let's go. We need an SV or more turrets, I guess. More turrets would help couple of turrets. Well, if we find some Sathium. Look at this purple mountaintop. Is it radiated? What's going on? Oh. Shooting at something. Mountains. Okay. Sure, what I'm. Oh, another Neil. More Neil. That's not what this thing's shooting at. What is it shooting at? It's like way out of range of whatever it's shooting at. Really ridiculous. Oh, there. <laughs> really? There we go, we killed something. Yay! The turret killed something. This is a small drone. I don't really feel like going landing and picking it up. Um, let's see if this is any further away from the... This looks actually really good for vegetation possibilities. We can plant the... Say, I really like... I like this. I like this. I don't know if the lake's big enough to... Oh yeah, see, I see all the the plants we need. Okay. Well, I don't see Xerox over here. purple mountaintop, kind of cool. It's actually the first time I've seen that in the game. This texture for the mountains. But we could even see it in space, so that was kind of cool. Okay. Uh... I don't know. I, I mean, let's see. There are some very large, if I wanted to build a base, I'd build it in the middle of one of these giant lakes, I think. Right? But we're not really, I don't think I want to build a base on this planet. We're going to get our resources together we're going to build a space base to process the resources and then I think get a combat CV together and then go to a planet and take it over that's sort of what the plan is 
so this looks really interesting here. There's a bunch of plant life. I just want to land somewhere so that we can stop using up fuel at this point. And we'll call it an episode. So let's land. We are alive. Uh, next episode, I will take the HV out and we are going to try and find some sathium and maybe some, uh, some vegetation that we're going to need for a garden for, for, you know, get at least the basics, some, uh, vegetables and spice uh buds what else what else we get some fruit so until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day